What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, thanks for joining us. Today we are reacting to Community Season 6, Episode Number 5. In the last episode, we saw the Dean become Gay Dean and join the school board. It's not that he became Gay Dean, they just he just came out as two-sevenths of what he uh, is, right? That's what he said. Yeah, not sure I what mean, that means, but <laughs> that's how it was. Uh, he even had a on-stage partner. Domingo. Was Domingo or Dominguez? I think it was Domingo. But, like, they, Domingo was the only one that they would acknowledge by name. Yeah. Like, I remember <laughs> even the magazine said Domingo and Gay Dean. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. But, I mean, Dean, that he goes by Dean anyway, right? Uh, we even had a local play, uh, an adaptation of The Karate Kid, where Miyagi was played by Chang. Who would have thought, right? And then um, other Annie played Daniel LaRusso, which is weird. Original Annie kind of screwed. She thought she was the star because she wasn't getting any shit from the dude, the director. But it turns out he really liked Chang. Uh, interesting, I guess. Like he was so very much that he abused he, the hell yeah, of him. Yeah, very abusive. Just made the dude cry and whistled at him like a dog at the end pretty messed up but it ended up being a good play it really captured the audience and captured everyone there like jeff and elroy started crying and shit uh what else happened abed and i want to say his name is elroy if i'm if i'm got it wrong my bad i think it is elroy but elroy is the new it girl or it lady and they found what the big problem was not getting Wi-Fi. There was an, a bird's nest in the fuse box. So they needed to get it out. Unfortunately, Abed didn't want to take it out because the mom needed to come back and they might die. But when Gay Dean started cracking down, they had to take it out and two of them died. Good job. Good job, Dean. Good job, Gay Dean. But yeah, like I said in the last episode, it wasn't really too much in this one. So, yeah, we're just going to kind of jump right in. But before we do, if you're interested in our full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description below. So let's just get started. Season 6, Episode 5. Why did Frankie call us here? I don't know. Some financial prospect that could put the school in the black. Which always confuses me, because black means bad. Dude. I was thinking we could have a party at our apartment. Abed, Annie? You could have a party. You can't have a rager. We have a rule against more than eight guests. Eight guests? That's not not a rager. That's not a party. You just moved in. You don't even have a real bedroom. You're a coucher. She sleeps on the couch. She's a coucher. That wasn't don't, a bad impression. Don't do that again. The Department of Corrections will pay us money if we allow a small manageable number of inmates to attend Greendale using these. Wait, prisoners? Rolling around the school with students? They'll rape us. They'll rape us all. They what? <laughs> and which is why the state is offering a $300,000 incentive. We'll do it. Dean, do it. 300000 for the school. They're convicts. Their iPads on sticks. Not every bad guy ends up in prison, and not every prisoner is a bad guy. Who's this guy? The fuck? What the fuck? So I guess just roll forth and rehabilitate. <laughs> Seriously? What? You're saying I was first in the apartment, so I could overrule Annie and let you have a party, but I don't get anything out of parties. They're like conventions for every subject too boring to have their own convention. And instead of Joss Whedon, the police show up. The police also showed up when you made Leonard take off his clothes and filled the living room with lizards. What the fuck? I make movies, Brito. I make movies, Annie makes rules, you make parties. Her rules cancel out your parties, but I'm not involved. I just make movies. You could have a party scene. I think that's what she's gonna try and come up with. Hey! Might help me out with something. I think I lost a ball bearing and rolled down them stairs. Lost a ball bearing? Mm-hmm. Down them stairs. You want me to look down these stairs? Okay. Is he gonna try to murder Jeff? 
<laughs> so dumb. Are you trying to murder me? You're trying as hard as you can. That's cute in a way. <laughs> Fade in before a party. People start coming over. Way more than eight. It becomes a rager. Everyone has a great time and parties like there's no tomorrow. Then they leave. Sophia cleans up the end. We're very interested in you for the role of Sophia. Oh, fuck you, Britta. Oh. Before this is over, you'll beg for my forgiveness. What? He's here for an education, Jeffrey, and he reports to the prison. Could you do a little more in your class than show planet Earth? You're telling on me? He tried to murder me last night. What? Now, hold on. <laughs> now, where I'm from, you accuse somebody of something. How can he do that? Have evidence, or he better be a minority. What? Hold on, wait, what? <laughs> Mr. Winger, when did you stop being funny? <laughs> I, I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> or did he be really intense here? <laughs> like, oh, you're born in the dirt. You'll die in the dirt. Kings of the, who are the kings of the dirt? <laughs> Damn, he's getting ripped on by Garrett. Yeah. But also, the next time a friend comes by with their problems, maybe... Lay off the I told you so's. Jeff, we're having a Brita party here. Could you be a little bit less of a buzzkill? What Brita is a Brita is party? The buzzkill. So don't tell anybody, but we smuggled in a few guests to the party to celebrate with us. Did someone Seriously? order a prison break? Ah. <laughs> Plenty of convicts to go around. Why would you say it like that? Plenty of convicts to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have it out for Jeff? Well, it could be that he wanted to learn and then Jeff didn't want to teach. And now he's using his tactics to get rid of Jeff. I think it's a performance issue. I think this needed some real actors. Well, lesson learned. Yeah. Okay, from the top. And action! What? What the hell? Whoa. Go, go, go! Well, Abed takes this filmmaking very seriously, so. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, careful now. Put me down. Well, Willie, look at me. I'm a murderer. Can I be as cool as you now? Ha! Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Oi, Dean. Jeffrey, you are on sabbatical. You can't do that. Yes, I can. Two weeks paid sabbatical. Get him out of here. He's banned from the campus. You are on sabbatical. You're on sabbatical, sir. Yeah, I'll go on my own with dignity. Something you should look up. I can't look it up. You destroyed my device and my heart. You destroyed his device and his heart. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't need to repeat everything he fucking says. How's your movie coming? Amazing. Abed's a genius. He's actually having a hard time deciding what to cut, so it's going to be in two volumes, and it's hard to sleep, but it's worth it, because it's a movie about a party. You asked for this, Britta. Yeah, but she just wanted one fucking party. You can't blame her. Fucking Annie's over there. No, you absolutely can blame her. No, fuck you. <laughs> I, I'm sick of this. Annie is being a fucking Nazi over here because she doesn't want to have a no, party. No, she's not. Yes, she is. I wouldn't hurt him. Have you ever thought of saying that to the Dean? No. Yeah. <laughs> go to him. to him. Wait, that's the whole point. I can't go to him. I can't get on campus. Don't you live next door? Uh, I'm guessing he moved. My script is misleading. It's impossible to party like there's no tomorrow. But it's based on a truth. It's based on my desire to have a party. Parties are just booze, low lights, and loud music so people can feel more, see less, and not have to listen to each other or themselves. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the ceremony. Last name? Geller, prisoner ID 042098. What ceremony? Okay, go on. They're making the uh, one prisoner. Have a nice night, sir. 
What? <laughs> Dean, I like my job. I don't mind coming to work here. I feel kind of guilty when I pretend to be sick. And I try to steal as little as possible, just the basics. What? Pens, coffee filters, toilet paper, and one time, an overhead projector and a roll of carpet. Uh, those don't sound like basics. Now, to be fair, you guys know Will is an innocent man, right? You shut your mouth, what? Gordon. No, it's true. His appeal is in motion. There's new DNA evidence. He's a good fellow. Wrongfully convicted. You're not a murderer? That's a good thing, guys. I don't know what. Yeah. This is what you did. This is what I got. Come on. Do it. Stop. Stop. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Stupid. No. No. Oh my god, this is dumb. Jeffrey, go, <laughs> just get off the screen. I am not participating in this. <laughs> what the hell kind of school is this? <laughs> screen Dale, dude. I don't know. Alright, that was season six, episode number five of Community. That's what it would be like with prisoners or inmates going to school at Greendale. Those weird robot things roaming around. You know, it didn't seem like a bad deal at first. There was only like four or five of them. And then for $300,000, seems like a sweet deal. But then you real, uh, she said they had to build like 67 ramps. That's probably what all the money would go to. So it's probably better than... Well, maybe not all the money, but a uh, large chunk of money. 67? How much is one ramp? I don't know. I feel like but I can't good I mean, portion of that money like there's no way it's not going to cost close to that amount in my opinion i don't I mean, know well, you think the ramps would be like five thousand dollars each i don't know it depends but there's 67 of them you think they'd be a hundred dollars no well i mean it's greendale they don't exactly you know use the best of anything That's so true. i wouldn't be surprised if they cheaped out maybe uh dude wanted to murder jeff after not teaching, I guess? What was his whole thing? He was just trying to take his job, I guess, from the beginning? I don't think so, but I don't I don't really know what his motivation was. <laughs> it was it was funny though. Yeah. That he thought he could do it. Quite ridiculous. And then it turned but that's weird too, because he tried to murder Jeff because he was a murderer, quote murderer, and then we find out he wasn't a murderer. He's actually wrongfully convicted. Interesting, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Britta wanted to throw a party, so she convinced Abed that she they were making a movie about a party. Uh, Abed took it too far, whereas he, he wanted to make the perfect movie, right? But I mean, Britta, it's Britta's fault. It's not her fault. It's Annie's yes, fault. It is. Annie, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, if anything, Annie was the mediator. No, she's not the mediator. The she she yes. flat out said no. I don't want a party. No, Abed. Abed said no, he doesn't want a party. Annie, uh, Britta said she wants a, she wanted a large party. Annie's position was a small gathering. Yeah, and so Annie was in the middle. The uh, Abed didn't want the party either. Britta was the only one, and so Britta manipulated Abed into get into like switching sides, and it went and blew up in her face no it's no. that's her fault it's not britta's fault no she wanted a fucking party that's it having a party is not a big deal yeah but she since she's the only one who wanted a party she had to find a way to make it happen right sure i guess but if maybe so, what so she wrote some fake bullshit script to try and get Aubrey to make a movie about a party mm -hmm. And then when it didn't go her way and Abed took it, took the script seriously and tried to make a movie out of it, it was too much for her. I guess. That's her fault. But I don't think it's her fault. I think it's Abed's weird ass just being Abed. It's not her fault. She knows who Abed is. She knows how Abed is. Like, she's known him for fucking, what, like eight years at this point? I don't fucking know. But I don't think it's her fault. She just wanted a dumbass party. That's it. Uh... But, nonetheless, Abed took it to where he wanted the perfect party or perfect movie, and 
He even went as far as hiring a fake Frankie. Not sure about the others, but then she went to Annie for help and they they brought it down. Not too much to the season so far. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is probably the last season for a reason, you know? I thought season five, they kind of brought it back up a little bit, but this these last few episodes haven't been like all that all that great. Yeah, I mean, they nothing. They haven't been able to get back to like where like the first three seasons were. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't say that this season is like as bad as season four was. Right. But it's. It just it doesn't live up to the early seasons. Yeah, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the new cast, just new characters and stuff. I, I'm not sure. It's just I'm not really connecting with it. Not it's not that it's bad. There's some funny moments and stuff, but yeah. I mean I don't want to shit on it. It's still okay. Um, let us know what you guys think. Do you guys still like this on the top of your list as far as like seasons? Um, this is probably like around the middle for me. Obviously season four is the worst, but I don't know. If you guys enjoyed our reactions, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. And of course, if you're interested in our full length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description as always. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.